Hi, this is Jason Baker, and welcome back to our DevOps and Cloud Infrastructure Lecture. This week, we're going to talk about AWS VPCs, Virtual Private Clouds. We're also going to cover databases, and I'll spend a little bit of time talking about AWS and cloud security, which I think is really a super important topic in this day and age. I just want to forewarn you that this lecture is one of the more challenging lectures in the course, primarily because we're focused on some of the network building blocks that comprise AWS. And if you don't come from a networking background, then you'll find some of this material to be new and maybe a little bit confusing at first. So, so I recommend spending a little bit more time on this lecture than maybe some of the other lectures in the course, especially if you don't come from a, a stronger networking background. But don't worry. Everybody who takes this course and is, 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 that is exposed to this material tends to do very well. Okay, let's look at the agenda for this week's lecture. First of all, before I jump into the topic of virtual private clouds, I'm going to cover an additional topic that's related to the EC2 service called Elastic Load Balancers. I will also touch on EFS, which is another storage service that's available uh, within AWS. Then we'll focus on virtual private clouds, or what we call VPCs, and we'll look at all of the underlying technologies that comprise VPCs and how you configure a VPC, set it up for your particular architecture. Then I'll, I'll have a segment where I cover a wide variety of different databases that are available in AWS. And what's really apparent today is that no matter what your database need is, there is a, a, a database platform available for you within AWS. And then finally, I'll, I'll wrap things up with AWS security. And we'll look at a number of services that AWS has created that help keep our organizations and our platforms running in, in the cloud more secure. 